Well, hello, my friends. It's time to do a little bit more Elden Ring. And uh, just to note, I have some great Fashion Souls news. We actually have enough stamina to get our thick Lionel's helm on. We were formerly wearing Radon's Redmane helm, and I thought that I was going to be upgrading to the Tree Sentinel helm, which is 7.5. Actually, let me equip this. If you look at the Tree Sentinel helm, it has slightly better stats, barely better, except versus magic, which is just slightly weaker. But then if you go to Lionel's, dude, everything's better except that thing is heavy. But hey, look, I still have medium load that you can see right uh, there. Look at my fashion souls. Let's talk a little bit about where we've been, what we're doing, and who we are. Let's start with our character. Our basic build is one that is essentially an endurance build. And I'm trying to get my strength up so I can eventually get the Ruins Greatsword. We have an absolute crap ton of endurance to be able to wear the finest and thickest of armor because I like being a very tanky boy. We also have this enormous shield that has an alarming 79 guard boost. I mean, that's insane. We also have almost all of Radon's outfits except this stupid helmet that looks hilarious. Oh my god. And so one of the goals that I now want to do is go back to maxing endurance so I can actually afford to wear Lionel's armor. Our current Radon's lion armor is 17 and a half. This is 21.2. Lionel's gauntlets is a about another pound and a half more. And the Radon Greaves does not even compare. Another three pounds. So, I mean, we, we have quite a ways to go. Probably need another five to six levels in stamina. <laughs> um... And then, of course, this Cross Naganata I'm still in love with. I like that it has this slash on the third one. And that I can, like, do my poke and stabs. Adds a lot of bleed. It's awesome. Everyone great sword requires shut seven more in than he has. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're still quite a ways off. But that's okay. I mean, I'm playing this game stupidly slow. Oh, no, we, we actually have enough in. We have 16 in. Excuse me, we have 17 ent, and this requires 16. Oh, no, that's faith. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I see what my brain was doing wrong. We want to equip this because it just has a sweet, sweet R2. And it has a wave of destruction. I, I, I'm pretty sure that I know what that is, but I think gravity magic is awesome. So let's talk a little bit about what we're, where we've been and what we're going to be doing today. We elected yesterday to spend a lot of time working inside of this area working inside the castle walls. We've not really explored the Great Altus Plateau that is outside the front of Landell. We've done almost nothing out there. We basically just popped over here, ran straight, and now are headed this way. We had a, a bunch of great fights by the horse boss here. Oriza's side tomb was brilliant. Oriza Hero's grave was brilliant. And we've just entered into the ramparts. So we're going to spend a bunch of time working our way through this area. There is, we did some methodical sifting through just this shard here, just this shard. So now I need to do some sifting through this shard here. And I have lots of these little hilarious um, horse lizard walkie boys because I've done virtually no exploration on the roofs of this area. So I just put a little reminder to myself. So I mean, literally we're just gonna keep on clearing out Landell. Hey. If you'll recognize, this is the Capra Demon from Dark Souls 1. What are my talismans? That's right. I need the strength just to be able to hold my shield. I need the Great Jar's arsenal just to be able to have the maximum equipment load that I have. Oh yeah, we're maidenless as hell. Oh, that's right. I do have this claw mark seal so I can... Oh god, what did I do? We can go ahead and heal up. Run of the wings of some great dragon. Turn this on. Dude, I missed this game so much. The last time I played it was Wednesday last week, and that's too long for me. I need to keep going. I don't think there's particularly much within this realm. I do see that there's this ladder that can be kicked down. Likely from above here. I mean, we can just head back up here at some point. <clears throat> I, think, I think we're probably going to do three days a week plus some magic. Uh, 
Ah, yes. So, I don't want to drop down just yet. I want to make sure that I'm actually being acceptably methodical. Acceptably to me. Where I crawled up. I see. Yeah, so here is where there's this weird knight, and out there is where I fought the lizard boy. You dick. Oh, dude. I'm not gonna die with the guy again. Oh, shit. Maybe I will. Look at look at how rusty we are. Look at look at the rust. Ooh, 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 ooh. Am I considering doing another build? You know, I'll cross that bridge when we get there. Cause I mean, right now I'm I'm fully devoted to this playthrough. So I see. So if I if I climb up here. makes your neck disappear. I'm absolutely neckless. I love the idea of this hand and this rat hanging out. I believe that there was a path up here at some point. Yeah, I remember. I sort of worked my way in the sewers. Yeah, that's right. I worked I worked my way through the sewers around and then I came up on this side and quickly fell down to that side. Oh my god, Dwyerin, what a treat to see. What up, Dwyerin? Glass and frame top of our rooms? That's fine. You don't need to see the rune amount. Hmm. Oh shit, that's a dude. Hold on. Hold on, it's okay. We're okay. Scalbridge says, I did some research on poise and found it hilarious that despite having tons of poise, rats and dogs still manage to stagger the shit out of you. Well, I think that's interesting, right? Because, um, for any of you who are unaware, there is something called poise, which determines how readily... You know how, like, if you're swinging sometimes, you, like, oh, like, do that? Like, if someone hits you? Poise is the stat that determines how easily that occurs for you. The higher it is, if someone hits you, it's hard for them to make you go, oh, and sort of stagger. And so, I really like poise, because it basically means that, like, if someone is coming at me and goes, swing, swing, swing... If you have low poise, if the first one hits, you go, oh, and then you take damage, damage, right? Um, and I like the ability to, to take that first hit and then hold my shield up because I had high poise that actually gave me the opportunity to do that response. Let's go up the dragon second. Take out my giant LED torch. Oh. Well, there's the problem of having three things. Oops. I know it's cheesy, but it works. Whoa! Whoa. 
Whoa! Oh my god. My buttons did not do what I thought my buttons did. Never would have thought. Didn't even know the buttons did that. Ooh, NZ Prime says, I found putting the steel in your main hand helps because you rarely switch your main hand weapon. That, that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. That is fucking fantastic. That is, that is a fantastic idea. All right, great. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, what? How do I, how do I? Cheese mode, cheese mode enabled. Cheesing, we're doing it, we're cheesing. I'm the gamer. God, that is just such a better idea. Oh my God. I was just talking about something. Oh yeah. So I, I talked a little, uh, a little bit about what poise is and does and be. I want to spend some time talking about that because I think that, again, a strength of this game is that different weapons have different strengths. If I have a thrust weapon like this, or excuse me, like this, or like this, this is good in narrow corridors because it never bounces off the walls. But it's weak if things are flying overhead. So I really like, oops, I really like this weapon because if there's a flyer, it has an attack that swings overhead like this. And I think that's cool. And I think that the idea of saying, hey, higher damage is always tied to good poise break, period. I think that that loses some dimensionality. So I like the idea that you, you might have rats that just have good poise break. Oh, these guys. As he promises, I've loved that every person I speak with just uses completely different weapons, and then they just make their own play styles. Yeah, right? Oh, it's so good. Like... Easiest 3,000 of my life. I mean, he says, yeah, my friend was talking about how his fist weapon build gets hit and really fast, but basically can't ever break enemy poison. I have a friend that is using this, um, I think it's the hook claws and then later the guitar. But yeah, just, just for like, sort of like swiping. You ever beat the two gargoyles? Haven't even gone back to him, Dark Hunter. Haven't even gone back to him. And just as a, uh, as a brief review, some of the things that we're curious about is in Nokron, I put a little marker here because I don't think I've been able to figure out a way to get over to here. And there's also the two gargoyles that are here. Um, also in the underground map in Einsel River Valley, there's some way to get up to this stuff here. There's also this rise. I don't actually know how to get up there. Rena's rise does not open. I don't really know how that works. Grand Lift of Dectus. Again, sounds like some sort of setup to a vulgar joke. There, there's some other lurking things that we're curious about. So I, I think I'm going to be focusing heavily on just getting through uh, Lane Dell, because I think that this area is beautiful. one of the benefits of this shield. It just bops back so many attacks. That 
it's a shield breaking attack. How many boss rings does Sean have? I have three remembrances. Bound Mimic with the five gifted subs. Thanks, Bound Mimic. Thank you warmly. Talismans are we using? Uh, Radagon Seal. So I climbed up here. Ah, that's right. And then I just went straight this way. Didn't I? No, I went the opposite way, huh? Alright, it appears that I've gotten confused. I turned my way around. But that's actually good news, because we're in a new area. Uh, yeah, we're, we're using... Star Scourge, Heirloom, Radagon, Scar Seal, and Great Jars Arsenal. Let's see. Am I facing? Oh, oh. Ah, fuck me, man. I keep misjudging the distances there. It's funny, because the, these enemies are actually not especially hard to kill off. But they deal a lot of damage when you make a mistake. Yeah, Grey Jar Arsenal is like the best one. Holy fuck. These are the enemies that are not the hardest, but they are the most punishing. Cheese, cheese him, cheese him. We did it, victory. So we were able to get up on that side over there. Kind of get up into this upper area, but really we're actually coming around the other side now. This is fine. Oh yeah, the, the, the shield with the fire breathing. Yeah, I, I love this thing. Okay. Boys, boys. Oh my god, dude, Vance, I still can't find all enemy names on the wiki pages. It's a bit like the Dark Ages. Yeah, like, the the fact that this game's wiki is, like, still getting fleshed out is hilarious to me. Like, I had a friend that, um... Played the first, uh, weekend, like, 80 hours in the first, like, three or four days. <laughs> it's, like, an alarming amount. <laughs> like... I think, like, he was sleeping, like, four or five hours, and then just getting up and playing again until he fell asleep, and then, like... Good news has been catching up on YouTube. Glad to see you finally switched to using the pouch. Curious to see a StarCraft player. Wait. Hey. Curious to see a StarCraft player be so reluctant to using hotkeys. You must have been watching just at the very start. We've been using the pouch for a long time. And also, it's one of those things where I will actually defend any StarCraft player and any Elden Ring player's avoidance of using certain hotkeys right at the start. Because here's the thing. The hotkey, if we think about it, the hotkey is something that addresses a very specific problem. It addresses a very specific problem. Which, you know, in StarCraft, if you have your screen here and you need to build things over here, it's nice to be able to hit 5M to build a Marine. And StarCraft 2 players are like, but the hockey for Marine is A. <laughs> Sweet summer child. I played games that hated the player. Um, 
so... <laughs> so, like, if you're playing the game and you don't know what the buildings do, you can't quite keep track of what's happening in a single battle on the screen. Things like this. Your brain is already trying to do, say, ten things. of Tracking this and then seeing this there. Oh, wait, yeah, and that's right. I wanted to expand over there. Did I send units to mine? There? Okay, let me do that. Okay, let me come over here. Uh, what upgrades even exist? Maybe this thing. Like, once you start getting the game enough, then hotkeys start to become really, really useful as a way to expedite maneuvering around the screen. Or likewise in this game. I just never felt a need to use the pouch. Until there came a point where I actually had the... Until there actually came a point where I was constantly using my, my flashlight. Oh, sick. Because, I mean, uh, over the years, I've actually kind of changed my perspective on learning and improving a game. And a lot of this was informed uh, by one of my old roommates and friends. One of my old roommates and current friends. A guy named Huck. And I remember Huck was, uh, we were playing Dominion, we are having a board game night. Not, not StarCraft Huck. Not, not, not H-U-K, the Korean word Huck. But Huck, short for Huckleberry. That's the attack that owned me before. This is so hard for me. Ooh, it's a slow attack. Oh my god, that was fucking hard. Yeah, one of my old roommates and current friends, Huck, uh, you know, we were trying to learn this board game Dominion, and I was explaining to people all these, like, different strategies and ways to play and stuff, and Huck just, like, put his hand on me, and he put his hand on me, and he's like, guys, don't listen to Sean. Mess around. Just, here's the basic rules. Just fuck around some. You'll start having fun. And just do that a little bit. And then after you've played two or three games, then we can start talking to you about what are some good things. Just mess around for now. That was like a very important moment for me in my... Like, th th those very simple words. <laughs> this take base is literally fuck around and find out. Law Crest Fawn says, how long did you play Dominion before you realized you can move in either direction? Or was it right away? We might be talking about different Dominions. I'm talking about the card game designed by... What's his name? Donald X. Vaccarino? Oh, shit. Yeah, the, the deck building game. The game that started deck building as a genre. But I mean, like, th th there's this sort of... There's this sort of, you know, natural inversion process that I think happens, which is you play Dominion. You get, like, I played Dominion with nobody hovering over me. And I had a really fun and exciting first game. And we played another game and another game. And it was just fun three games in a row. And then someone owned me doing something. Then I tried to do it and I messed up, but I wound up almost winning. It was really fun, right? There's this... There's this progression and at some point... Like, after 30 games, I started to really understand, realize, and see some key patterns. Fuck. I started to really understand and see some key patterns that made the gameplay experience way awesomer for me. 
And it's so easy to be in my position to be like, oh, dude, you need to do this and 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 do this. Oh, this is a generous bonfire. You need to do all the things that I did after 20 games, because then you'll actually get to have the fun that I'm having right now. And it, it, it's a bit of a, a, a false analysis. It's a bit incorrect. Because what was actually keeping me entertained for 20 games had nothing to do with that complex shit. And so here is... Great. I was pretty sure there was... Thought I rolled in time. I did not. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Fought against enough of these bastards. beat him to it. That was really good. That was really good. That was a really good fight. I'm really pleased with that one. Lord's Rune. Fuck yeah. Dude, I mean, that was excellent. That was just fucking... That was an excellent little fight that we just had there. Oh, and the grade right at the end, yeah. <laughs> Twas a bit of an issue. So I need to understand that I've not actually explored this. I suspected that I could drop down from this side. So let's finish the, sh the story. How heavy is the shield? 24 pounds. So, there's some, like, that conversation with my friend Huck, who was just like, dude, just mess around, just play. It kind of brings to light that there's often when you are experiencing a game, you'll get to, like, say, hour 100, where you suddenly see and are making all these connections, and what's compelling for you at hour 100, bringing you to hour 200, is those complicated, cool, nuanced interactions, which is nothing through... Or nothing compared to what was going from hour 0 to 100. Like in Dota, understanding which hero counters what hero, I'll be honest, I still have no fucking clue. I don't know what, I don't know what hero does which thing to what thing. I don't know. So um, I'm going to work my way back down here and continue to explore the under dragon area. Like, I still don't really know uh, hero counters very well. I still don't. In my first games of Dota, the thing that was actually very, very fun was just shooting some abilities, man. Just shooting abilities. It's like fucking, it's a blast. It's awesome. So this is where we're gonna go next. This is where there's uh, little fried angry babies. Oh, there's a fucking well? Where 
does this go to? Maybe this is actually where I came up before. No. Where, did, where the hell am I? Interesting. Cool. So anyways, like, I think that that was really shaping for me. You know, for instance, like, even even from, like, a StarCraft player's perspective, like, that's, that's the one that I think that <laughs> I was most severely head up the ass about. So we're now actually quite deep, huh? The music's changed. So I'm not going to go here yet. Darius is going to take him 200 hours to finish this game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Straight up. Because things that I love, I love to just see and feel how things are connected. An example is I was right here and I went, wait, where is that? Oh, I see. It's the tunnel that's facing. Tunnel that's facing out back towards this inner way, right? Because you kind of go this way and then you work your way up and over like this. And this is the tunnel that I was passing by previously. Really interesting. Excalibur, this is a set of markers. You remember where this is? Fuck you, Excalibur. Let me play. I know what I'm doing. Ouch! Oh, Jesus! Hi! Hi, little friend. Alright, let's talk about my head of my ass. I think that, um... Yeah. I think that when... when It's really easy to not be aware of how you're thinking. You know, it's, it's really easy to not be aware of how you're experiencing and analyzing stuff. Great example, I was talking with uh, my dear buddy Lee, who amazingly is working on Return to Monkey Island. What? How did she keep that secret from me for two years? Jesus. Anyways. I literally do a show with him every Monday. Fuck. Anyways. Um, good cat. So sick. Yeah, yeah, Lee, Lee is working on Return to Monkey Island. I don't know how she just, like navigated speaking to me and Sean Bloom every Monday for years. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But Lee made a point yesterday where he was saying, whenever you're angry, you've never felt more convinced that you're right. Right? Like, that's an example of, like, it can be sometimes hard to step away and understand how you are thinking about things. And I think that, like, you know, with StarCraft... I was so into the idea of the sophisticated strategy and the ability to express and the fact that mutalists felt very, you know, sort of frisbee-like in their physicality. There's a lot of cool stuff you could do with them. All right, let me, here, let me cross my legs so you can then uh, enjoy the lap. There you go. There's a lap. Yeah. Ow. Oh. This is not a sweet cat. And, you know, I was into all this stuff that it's very easy to overlook things like it's really fun in StarCraft when you just like make some workers, send them to mine, and you see them mining. Like that's really fun. I used to not understand, for instance, when Mark Rosewater said, you know what's fun in Magic the Gathering is playing a, a giant 6-6 six, six dragon. Like just Oh, it's really fucking loud. Yeah, it's really easy to just get all obsessed with this more higher level stuff and overlook the utter most basic shit. Ah, yes, I remember. This is the overlook point. Or where we fought the... Oh, hi. This is the overlook point where there were some runes. Ow. Ow, Sheriff. Ow. Ooh. It's so easy to overlook some of those basic pleasures, some of those basic fun elements. Hi. You know... We were talking about this for some reason. For some reason, we were talking about this. There was a reason. Hmm. Hmm. 
Daraz, feel free. Feel free to share some mechanics. Dude, my little cat is just perfect. She's just in my lap. She's making bread. Gaz49 says, Hey, Sean, never been had a chance to send the message in chat before. Because I've never been sub till now. I just wanted to say thanks for the constant chill and interesting content. Been helping me relax and laugh along too as I finish out my senior year of mechanical engineering in college. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, using pouch hockeys. Yeah, because pouch hockeys are awesome. They're such a good addition to the game. Jesus, I gotta turn this down. And this should lead back to that. I haven't even explored that area yet. They're fantastic, but, um... Yeah, Daraz. Daraz, I did know that mechanic. Um, where you spam shoulder buttons to end the attack early. Yeah, there, there's things like that that are really good. Oh, shit. Positive, excellent, healthy, helpful mechanics. In a game. But a lot of times, it's like, what's fun? Just wandering around, attacking stuff. Summoning a horse. Oh, I'm low on health. Pull your healing flask. Heal a little bit. How, how do I get back to where... Let's see, this thing is... It's actually right there, huh? So this is, this is like the way that I crawled my way up. Nice. Yeah, I mean, the, the the fact of the matter is, when it comes to a lot of... Oh, shit. Ow, fuck. Broadly speaking, when it comes to, like, spoilery backseating stuff, often there's things that I'm just incidentally not doing. So, I mean... I'm not interested in being bludgeoned. Do this, do that, do that, do this, do this, do that, do that, do this. Do these things. Oh, my God, please do these things. Excellent. Here's another... that I don't think I've fully explored yet. This is sort of this other nook back here, right? Cool. Super cool. You should take your shirt off. You got it. actually much of anything in this corner. It's just kind of like cut off little area. Alright, cool. So I've sort of I've checked out pretty much everything that's up in this side over in this area. I've done this whole thing. So I'm pretty much cleared out with this area minus that well. I like the Radon cape. Dude, I love the Radon outfit in its entirety. I adore it. And we haven't gone up the dragon either. I don't know. I, 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 I'm actually so interested in the idea of what is exciting in the first few hours that you're playing a game. Like, what is that? Like, what are these really basic things? Like, like I was saying, like, Mark Rosar was talking about when you have a big creature and you play it, that's cool. When you have a big enchantment and you cast it, that's cool. When you cast a spell that does something, that's fun. And I'm like, but, you know, what if it's not the right move? No, it doesn't matter. This light is so bright, it hurts my eyes. Do you think that this will poison me if I stand in it? Do you think? So, is the question, what's a video game's hook? Mm. So let's take that word hook. A, lo a lot of times, a hook is the idea of I have played, or I have consumed nothing, and I now want to consume some. I'm now interested in consuming a little bit. Like, that's, that's like a hook. Like, you know. Oh, 
Look at that. They leave a little flag when they die. Like, for instance, I think one of the best hooks I've heard recently is the is the premise for Army of the Dead. Las Vegas has been turned into zombies. It's been walled off and quarantined so none of the zombies can get out, but Las Vegas is zombies. So the United States is going to nuke all the zombies to wipe them out. So there is a crew of criminals that is trying to perform a $200 million heist before the bombs come. That's a fucking hook. Right, where you're just like, oh shit, I want to see that. And then and then you tune into it and you discover that it's a movie about being out of focus and walking into focus in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. It's a very niche joke for those, those people that have seen this. Okay. Wow, we're actually deep beneath this side now too, huh? Wow, 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 wow. All right, cool. So, so that's like a hook. A hook is something that I feel like gets you to go from nothing to hitting play. Or gets you to go from watching subterranean shunning grounds. Oh, fuck yeah. Holy shit, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, all right. Oh my God, the game, the game, yes. Oh my god, yes, please. Oh. Amazing. Camera souls. Fuck. Couldn't see. Couldn't see. So we are here, so we need to go down this way. Good. See, I feel like that, or, or a hook could be something like, what gets me to minute, like, I'm at minute 20, what keeps me watching so I can get to minute 30? You know, or I've seen one episode, what gets me to watch? Shit. Have a drink. Oh my god, someone got accidentally auto-deleted in the misclick? That's amazing. But, like, wh what I'm talking about with some of these, like, you know, hey, if you want to play... Um... What the heck is it called? If you're interested in playing, you know, Dominion, here's here's kind of like how you th think of the very start. It's less about, like, the... Okay, okay. Coming back to the question, Sean, is what you're talking about a hook? I would say no, because um, what I'm referring to is... There's kind of like this additive process of things. Like in StarCraft, if you are a really... Actually, let me not use StarCraft as an example. Let me use this game as an example. If you have looked through all the statistics, you might have a plan of how to level up 
certain things in a way such that right when you hit the requirements, you can equip the Moon Veil, which is a really awesome and really sick item, and it allows you to be overpowered at that point in the game, and that feels really good, right? But if you're first starting off playing, you have absolutely no idea about any of the stuff I just described. You have no clue. You literally can't know about any of those things because you've never played. So the idea of having a build that leads to a moon veil doesn't, it, it, it's more than that you don't find it fun. It's that it doesn't even mean anything. If for instance, if I come up with an off meta build in Magic the Gathering, it's fun because it's my build, and it's interesting because it works against what's happening in the meta right now. But, I mean, if you have no sense of the Magic the Gathering meta, it doesn't mean shit. And so there's, like, fun that happens at different times in a game. There was a dude behind me. And that's the thing that I think is interesting. In a strategy game like StarCraft, you can have these cool build orders that get more and more and more complicated as time goes on. These build orders that are really subtle and really refined where, you know, I remember in StarCraft 1, I had this very weird build order where I timed it out perfectly, where I got an evolution chamber at a ridiculously early time in order to make sure that my plus one armor was always ahead of the opponent's plus one attack. I worked really hard on coming up with this build. It took me a ton of time. But I mean, literally just building an evolution chamber and upgrading carapace is it, it, just not that fun on its own. It's the context that made it fun. So how long does it take to get that context? Probably a few hundred hours. So what's happening in the meantime? That And that's the interesting question. That's the interesting question. Oh, but not since my other VPN service expired, so I was looking to get into a new, uh... I'm gonna switch to NordVPN. Your referral link was nordvpn.com slash day9tv. It sure is. Look, I can even... Where is... Today's episode of What the Deck is sponsored by NordVPN. I like doing those recordings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Look at that. A little, little free advertising for a product that I actually think is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm especially fascinated by by that thing that I am describing. The, the like, okay, there, there's fun that happens from hour 0 to 10. There's fun that happens from hour 10 to 100. There's fun that happens from hour 100 to 1,000. Like, that's... Um, that's fun. In... Or what the fuck I skipped what I was going to say. Um, in Rocket League, from 0 to 10... I don't know anything about aerials. I don't know anything about passes, about positions. I'm trying to crash a car into a ball, and it's fucking hilarious. Hours 10 to 100, I'm starting to actually learn how to do something intentionally with my car. And it's fun to just actually be able to hit the ball and aim. And just hit the ball and aim. Ooh, that's really fun. And then when you get to, like, in the hundreds and low thousands of hours in Rocket League, there's a lot more of, like, passing plays and things like that. That are that are interesting and compelling. And you know, and, and I think that it's interesting that there are differences there. Fuck me.
Okay, good lord. Dude, these fucking guys are strong as hell. Good lord, that is so hard. Holy shit. Go to this. Go to this. What's your weapon level? 18, 17. I knew it. scared too. I don't want to sit yet, I don't think. This is the third thing I've encountered that can't open from this side, my god. Hey, Bound Mimic says, I finally passed a comprehensive exam to become a math PhD candidate. Man, fuck yeah. Down more? Hell yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Jesus. Holy fuck. Just stab him. Oh shit. Wrong button. James Hansen, did you hear about Brand Sanderson from his interest in working on something in the future? Uh, James Hansen, I, I sort of heard some vague things about that, but I mean, it, it feels like kind of a non-story. Every time it's just like, these two people are considering the potential of a collaboration. That to me reminds me of those news articles where this person slams the other person. Did anything happen? You know what I mean? Nothing happened. We're reporting on Twitter. Ugh. So, I mean, like, I, I think that, I mean, it would be cool. It would be cool. But, I mean, 
I don't know. I, I, I just don't put that much weight and merit on it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of... Oh, whoops, I don't want to go there yet. Still considered an overground now. All right. We gotta come back to this, like, you know, uh, I wanna go this way. I think I'm in the mood to go down here first. What? Get out, man. This is ridiculous. I think I, think I actually have an idea. I think I have an idea. I think I know where I'm going. Yeah, so I, I, I'm just endlessly interested in this idea of what is it that gets me excited in my first 10 hours, and then in my hours up to 100, and then in my hours up to 1,000. That's really interesting to me. Because if we look at something like... Oops, I'm going the wrong way. If we look at something like... Golden Rune 11? Holy shit, how did I miss that one? That's where I came from, so the greats should be over here. Like, like what got me first interested in playing Stardew Valley? Nice, this is where I want to be. And how does that change over time? Like, there happen to be storylines and relationships that exist in the game. Didn't get me interested. And then I started to play more, started to just hang around town more, and I just got kind of curious about the lives of these people. And lo and behold, I became deeply invested and I've married tons of them. <laughs> if you haven't played Stardew Valley, that context does not make a lot of sense, huh? Shield is insane, Dudracus. This is... it's out of control. It says, like my old company told me, it's possible that you might have potential for promotion in the future. Oh my god, right? Hey, it's one of you. What up? Two of you? What should I do here? Alright, so there's that. I'm gonna make sure I'm oriented correctly. So I go this way. Do you have any other cool shields? Oh, dude, I have nothing but shield. It's such a hoarder. So this should work back to that. Oh, Jesus. Why am I... Who runs at that speed in this game? Sluggy boys. Because I think nowadays, mo most games are not one thing. Most games are not like... Oh, this is an RPG where the level progression is the only thing that's fun. Okay. You know, it might be that the story is really sweet at first. And there's such insane things happening in the story that you want to keep playing. That's what got me interested in playing Mass Effect. I didn't I didn't like the combat. I didn't care for the combat in Mass Effect at all. And then I started to like the combat more. And then afterwards, then I started to actually like what was happening with the leveling. And then I wanted to replay Mass Effect with different leveling in mind. It's just interesting. I feel like games will be different things over the lifetime of playing them for different people. So there's three paths here that I need to reconsider. Jesus fuck, this is a maze. So I'm actually going to stop talking about this point. Because I, I need to just make sure I'm tracking where I am properly. It 
let, let's, let's get through this area first. I was pretty sure that this was going to be a different and or contained area that connected back to the entryway to this spot, but I believe that I am incorrect. I believe that it is its own fucking zany. area to fight him in. We have the strategy. All right. Oh, you're facing me. Fuck. I don't know he's facing me. souls right here. Alright. We're doing learning. We're learning. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, this is this is a good cheese little, little zone. There's no such cheesing in no such thing as cheesing in this game. You just play the game and this is the game. La 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 la. La 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 la. Dude, this area is fucking terrifying. Somber Smithing Stone 8? Wait. Is that my first Stomber's? Oh my god. Oh, we're missing seven. Ah, shit. Who sells seven? Because I, I need I need a seven to upgrade the Visage Shield. <laughs> I have these holes in my scout timings. Yeah, man, lucky number seven. Oh, excellent. Oh, fuck. Coming back to that. There's a lot more stuff there. I guess you should the subtitles channel from Be a Better Gamer to This is the Game. This is the Game is a meme that will last a brief bit of time. Be a Better Gamer is something that I believe in. In down to my bones. I want to be the most powerful power gamer ever.
All right, let's go ahead and counter some of those babies. Oh, Peter, this torch, dude, the torch is so bright. Stabby, stab, stab. Ah, yes, the Dark Souls effect. When you can't tell if they're just ragdolling bodies. Or whether they're actual living enemies. I need to I need to do some retracing because I don't remember where I am. So this leads up, and then there's a grate, and I turn right. This is where I came from, and this is the upper side. So then we can drop. Oh shit! Great. This is the game. Of course, this place got me so disoriented. Yeah. Okay, so that's where I came from. So there's an area for me to drop down over there. All right. What resources do I have left? Yeah, I'm kind of dry on resources, if we're being honest. Oh, the, the, these are the guys from Lyria. these ones. Hello, lock on. Uh-oh. Okay, that monster was not that difficult, but I feel so uncomfortable. I like, I just literally, like, I, my stomach, I have a pit in my stomach from playing against those guys. Oh, Jesus. Like, Jesus, like, I, I, I genuinely feel like a, like a surge of anxiety, and I'm having a great day. Casey happens is the amount of blocking you can do makes me so jealous. Well, see, the thing is, the number of times I have heard on this stream, one, my god, those guys were so easy for me. Wow, I had no idea it was that hard if you didn't have thing XYZ that I got. And then I hear things like, dude, your shield is completely busted. This is ridiculous. How on earth are you having such an easy time versus these guys? What the fuck? And I think that's one of the really 
rich beauties of the game. Jeez, when he says that monster is one of the hardest enemies in the game for my build, I'm in awe. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, I slept great last night. I feel rested. I feel really good. I'm a little behind this morning, which is why I didn't wind up shaving before the stream. So you all get to see my rugged, handsome good looks. But even with all that said, like, I, I'm having... That, like, the sort of stress floods that you get when you're really under an intense timeline pressure. Can I actually get around by doing that now? Here's where I came from. Here's the first little... Oh, that's right. So this is actually where I came from, right? Yeah. All right, good orientation. So the one thing that I didn't do when I went through this is when I turn here, I can go left. this. Good. Yeah, I, and, and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a claim, because even if this claim is wrong, I still think it's an interesting point. And sometimes there's claims that are like, oh, if this claim is false, it's still a great idea. Like, one of the claims I made is that I bet you when there's fog everywhere, it's loading in lots of assets that are hidden by the fog until they're loaded, and then the fog lifts and you get a great vista, and then the fog rolls in again. In other words, I conjecture that this is the kind of game where you could use Fog as a way to hide asset loading. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Could be wrong, but the idea behind it, I think, has a, a lot of merit. Second thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim. Second thing I'm gonna claim. Whoa. I bet you, as far as I can tell, I think that what this game does is if your bill is up against something where you don't really have an advantage, because so much of the game is hard, it feels like it's the normal difficulty. And then it makes certain enemies stupidly weak to specific types of attacks. Like, I have a uh, poison. Excuse me, I have bleed on my Naginata. And the land octopuses are ridiculously weak against that. Like, ridiculous. I don't even worry about having fight for them. Because bleed is so good against them. There's other people I know. Like, I have a friend who, when she first played, she was a sword and border. Like, your pal Day 9, she's a sword and shield. But then she restarted as a magic user, and she's just like, oh my god. It's so easy with magic. Nice. It's so easy to fight against dragons. You just run around on your horse and you shoot things, right? She thinks dragons are like some of the easiest fights in the fucking game. And, and I think that's the brilliancy of what they're doing. And it makes me want to do something like that in, um, just when, when reframing. So, so let me, let me see if I can state this in a better way. A lot of times when I would look at games, I would say, oh, okay, these are fire resistant monsters. So I need to do something other than my fire build against these dudes. Ugh. You ever have this happen in Diablo 2? I would have this happen in Diablo 2 where I would be doing like a lightning build. I'd be doing like a charged Boltress. And I would be owning, I'd be leveling up, I'd be owning, and then I'd hit some guy that would be immune to lightning and I'd be like, fuck. This is so fucking stupid, right? And I hated that feeling. But I feel like this game inverts it. It makes everything equally difficult. Except there's some things that are really, really, really weak to lightning. And that's what I think creates the ability for you to struggle and try to overcome and get better. And then also, you you power trip and you're like, oh, this is fucking sick. Oh, my God. Bound Mimic. Hey, thanks again for the five subs, Bound Mimic. So he's a very powerful weapon art for a lot of the game, which made some bosses really easy. But because it was a long animation, there's a lot of bosses that it gave uh, almost no opportunity to use. Yeah, and I think that that's really an interesting... So that's probably where the drop down is. Okay, so I think I think I'm 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 reading I'm reading the game. I'm reading the designers. So what this area is is this is a grate. So if I go and I drop down here, I will be in the room with that revenant. Nice. 
and because I mean, like every game that has different classes, or if it's an RTS with different factions, or if you know, it's a roguelike where there's different builds that you can do. There's always that question of how do you make each build feel meaningfully different? Like there, um, there's games that I've played where if you do fire damage, it's just damage. If you do lightning damage, it's just damage. So you, like lightning and fire, they have no difference between. Games constantly try to make sure that each build or each style can bake out and play better. Uh, or better or worse than others in completely different ways. Nice. Good reads, Day 9. Good reads. Let's go, Day 9. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Might need to pause in a second, getting this weird strain on my left wrist. PvP. Tsunami just gifting one to Ocean is. Thanks, Tsunami. Thank you, kindly. Yeah, see, I got I got a read on this area. I got a read on this area. So I see. So this is a little maze-like area. Yeah, so I, I think that this is an interesting way to make different styles bake out in different ways, is you have enemies that are hugely vulnerable to certain play styles. As opposed to focusing on the different weaknesses of the play style. Focus on the different weaknesses of the enemy. Give me, give me just one second. Give me just one second. No, fuck, and went out and there was a spill. But it's a spill that can be cleaned up with the power of paper towels. Dude, I have this weird little twang right here. So I'm just gonna take a moment. Ah. So then, we hopped over all the stuff. And so here is the entrance. So if we go like this... And then there's a little area that we jump over. We go towards this light, and then we turn right. And there should be another little thing to fall down here. So just to be certain, I'm pretty sure we've already... Yep, this is the area that we'd already been to. And here's the drop down here. And here's the exit point. So maybe not the exit point, but maybe another drop down point. Oh, I see. There, there's the entrance, and the drop is right here. I see. Great. Oh my god, I want to read this message because it got hidden. Cyber ups, day nine. It made such an impact on my life since 2009, and it even made it into my best man speech for my buddy's wedding. Thanks for being a baller and continuing to motivate people to be a better person. You inspired me to follow in your shoes and do my best to provide value to content creation. Cheers. What? Thank you, Cyber Rob. It's wonderful to know that you've been with us since the days that, in, in a way, I'm most nostalgic for. The Brood War days. So th this is all leading up to this point where I can fight against this enemy. Dude, that feels so good. It feels so good. Gaz49 says the Brood War Days sounds like a weird anime name. It really does. Oops. 
side are we on? I'm pretty sure we're on the... Yeah. I think I actually am going to go back here and do some leveling. Okay. Uh, let's, let's say that we're going to... If I go to my inventory... Smithing stone five, and I, I just literally don't have any smithing stone sixes. Look at how many of these fuckers I have. <laughs> Two golden seeds. All right, so let's see. So I want to... How much does an enormous abundance of runes? Let's give it a go. How much is how much is an enormous abundance? Very well. Medium load, baby. Yes, fuck yes. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking good. All right, what about these? Heavy load. What about these? Heavy load. All right, we, we do need a little bit more. All right. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but, like, look at this. Look, when I, when I equip this, my arms literally go down. Look, with all these, your arms stay. Arms go up, arms go down. Arms go up, arms go down. Arms go up. All right, everyone. Who's ready to run to battle? <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, that is too good. All right, so let's, let's fight these baddies again. This is nice. Alright. Alright, so in sub day nine, just end a four-hour call after work hours to fix database stuff, and I enjoyed it. Does that... Uh, does that make you think that... Uh, does that you think that makes me a workaholic or someone that just loves his work? I know that that sentence absolutely betrayed you a little bit. But I think the... the it says, okay, typos. I know, I know. I, I Rather than do the normal, typical, thoughtful work and help you out, I decided to be a fucking piece of shit. For that, I'm sorry. But what I will, what I will say is, one of the most useful things that was ever told to me uh, by a therapist, in fact, was, you know, for instance, I'm someone who has a, an enormous deal of patience. Huge amount of patience. Um, and in a lot of ways, it's kind of like my... It's like my superpower in situations. And one more. It's like my superpower. If there's times where, like, I was feeling like, oh my gosh, you know, I have to, like, say I'm at a live event and someone's like, show me to do a little extra work. I'd be like, all right, I can do it. I can do it. I can push forward. I can do it. I'm patient. I'm like, get through it. Or, for instance, if there was, you know, say, at, uh, you know, uh, a live event where there'd be, like, a signing. Spend an hour doing the signing, and there's clearly an hour more of people. Okay, I can do that. I can just, like, enjoy the next hour. That's great. But there was a problem that I would was having a lot early in my career where I felt like I really actually am tired. It's 2 a.m. And someone wants to, like, hang out. You know, there's, like, maybe an opportunity to do, like, a signing or something like this. And I would want to just go rest and go to bed. But I would feel like I wasn't allowed to do it. Dude, 
Dude, I'm owning now. And, and the, the greatest thing that was ever told to me, because here's the problem, I was talking to the therapist and I was like, but I really care about the people that want to show up and talk to me after events. I really care. I want to give them a good experience. And frankly, you know how people always talk about, don't listen to the vocal majority. The silent majority really likes you. You know what the best way to get support and find the silent majority? They go to conventions and walk up to you to say hi. If you ever want reassurance <laughs> that you're not a piece of shit that everyone hates, just go talk to someone at a convention and you'll feel great, right? Advice to other streamers. That's where the, that's where the silent majority go. And again, I really enjoy it. I, I genuinely enjoy it. This is, again, me, me saying this to the therapist. But there's times when I feel so horrible because I'm exhausted and I'm burnt out. What do I do? I, I feel like I have to do this thing. But like, am I a bad person? Or am I like, do am I doing the wrong thing by like taking these extra times? And what my therapist said, I will never forget. She just says, the point is that you need to be able to have a choice. The important thing is the choice. If you feel completely burnt out, and you feel like you don't have the energy, it's okay for you to choose not to talk to someone. It's okay to choose. The problem is when you feel like you don't have a choice. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I'm dead, aren't I? I've made a huge mistake. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. Alright. I think that, that that the problem was that all of them swarmed me <laughs> from the outside. <laughs> but I, I, again, I really like that statement that it's all about the choice. If someone said, hey, Fire 7, can you work extra time to do this thing? I'll owe you one. Or we'll, we'll, we'll give you some sort of compensation that feels good and right and fair. And you feel like you can choose to do it? That's great. And it feels like it's your choice and you feel good about it. And obviously, you know, we, we're believers here in that people should get paid for their work, you know. But, you know, beyond that, I think it's totally fine for you. I think it's great. I don't think it makes you a workaholic. I think the workaholic part comes from where you would feel like you didn't have a choice. That you didn't have a choice. That you were... Well, if they ask me, I have to say yes, because this is my job. When you're there, that's that's the problem, I think. If yeah, Fire 7 says, well, they asked, I'm sorry because we never asked this stuff, so it was an easy answer. Yeah, I mean, like, I, uh, when it comes to the idea of overwork, I mean, I, I am strongly of the opinion that there's way too many groups, people, situations that take advantage of their employees. We need you to work 40 hours a week. That's what we're going to pay you for. Ah, surprise. Actually, we kind of need you for 70. Mm, you know, ah, kind of need... It's kind of like 70 hours a week. There you go. Like, that's shitty. That's shitty and that's exploitative, and I don't like that, right? But at the same time, I also recognize from, like, an employer standpoint... Oops. Sometimes the work is not linear. Sometimes you need someone to work 50 hours a week this week. And if you do that... Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. I hit the wrong button. That's all right. It wasn't me. Right. Sometimes, like, for instance, I've done a lot of live event work. 
And if I have hit 40 hours that week or whatever it is, or hit the agreed upon time frame, but there is a show tomorrow and there's a huge issue that needs to get resolved, I don't get to go home, right? I have to actually like take a step back and go, wow, you know what, this sucks, and there it is. And you know, like I remember reading um, an interview with some, oops, being the wrong button. I was reading a thing about some managers at Ubisoft. And what they were talking about is sometimes there's weeks where someone needs to work like 60 hours and next week, they work 20 hours. You know, I recognize that there's an unevenness. But there's a difference between an unevenness of work and then your company being like, really, you're gonna need to work 80 hours a week every month. And, like, there's a lot of work, too, that, I mean, a, a lot of the stuff that I do is just creative work, right? Oh, my God, I'm really excited about this particular video series that I want to do. And I will, I, I remember with Let's Learn StarCraft, I put fucking, like, an extra 40 hours a week of work into that. And had to have someone help me do it. <laughs> right? Just to make all those clips. And I was just like, this is awesome, this is awesome, this is awesome. And then when I stopped doing the Let's Learn StarCraft series... I didn't do very much for about three months. <laughs> I didn't do very much. Oh, that attack. Oh, this fucking bug. Okay. It's not a bug, it's a behavior. So, this is not a defense of overwork. This is rather saying, I understand how sometimes... There will be a busy week. And if it's followed by a very light week to where it averages in a reasonable sense, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, so, like, uh, the thing is that I'm holding this, this shield button. And sometimes when I do various attacks, you'll see that my shield... Whoa. So I got hit, and I was rotating around him, and I was still holding my shield button. I want to see if this happens. So, oops. All right, so I'm going to hold the shield button. And when I stand up, looks like my shield is up. I wonder what was going on then. guys are both not that hard and like so fucking hard at the same time. And I mean, th th this is all to say Fire 7, like I, I, I'm I trying to state that I kind of understand and justify a little bit of what you're feeling, which is like, no, 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 they're great. They never asked for this. And I understand there's some uneven work. Unevenness to the world. I don't know. I'm also someone that, in a lot of ways, thinks that 40 hour work weeks are kind of stupid. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cat souls. I gotta move you a little bit. It's a good kitty. I think it's good to get one of those thrusts in, where it's a charge thrust. Because if you get, like, two of those in... This will stagger them. Yeah, like, charged R2s. Counterattacks are great. Hey, Fire7! Thank you for the 10 subs, man. Hey, you. That does a lot of stagger damage, stance break damage. Yeah, I mean, 
time. Tummy time. Here comes three. Oops. Yeah, th there are some circumstances where if you're just holding the L1 button in order to, like, get a block off. Um, okay, we're going to need to pull this out from under you. That's okay. Nope, you're doing good. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Yeah, do you want do you want pats? I'm sorry, we have pats. I, I didn't realize it was that time. It's 316. It's pats o'clock. The Nazis says, wish... There was an easier button for one hand to two hand switching. It's especially crucial in PvP and speedruns. Guess what that button is in Dark Souls 1? It's triangle. The triangle button that is used for... Because it used to be that uh, the bottom button, X or A on an Xbox controller, the bottom button used to be interact with item, pick up thing, open door, that sort of thing. But now this is the jump button. It's been moved to this. And that responsibility has been moved to this Y button. Or the triangle on the PS5 controller. And now, the triangle, like, opens your pouch. It, like, lets you open doors. You pick up stuff with it. That sort of thing. And the, uh... <sighs> so, the, the the top button used to just be switch to two-hand. So, I went back and played some Demon Souls. And I was constantly, accidentally two-handing it. Alright, so here's the mistake I made last time. There's two of these guys. And I need to draw out this one, and then draw out the other one. Gusta, because then I actually threw the wrath of everyone. This is actually why I love this. It's 9 FP, this just little spear throw. It's a great way to peel people away one at a time. Dude, this is a great place to go soul farming. Oh my god, I deviated. Let's turn this on. Oh my god, that is a lot of intense focus. Jeezy Louisey. Alright, gamer. Whatever. Smithing stone seven! Fuck yeah, man! Oh wait, I need smithing stone six, don't I? Fuck! I'm gonna go out this way. These are the explorers, huh?
Holy shit, we're... We're going deep down, huh? Dude, what? This is the thing that constantly happens. I see. This game, I constantly am like... Alright, we're gonna explore the royal... Capital, right? Smithing stone six. Oh shit. Wait. Oh, I need summer smithing stone seven, huh? Yeah, there, there, there's like I'm I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna go explore the royal capital. Found the rope. And all of a sudden, I'm underneath the royal capital. Who knew? Should be three hits. One, two, three. No. I should just do my regular. We did it! We found the rope! Er, 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 er. 6.5 says, thanks for getting hooked up. Uh, getting me hooked to Severance and From. Now I can't wait for new episodes. Dude. Those are... Dude. Oh my god. Oh, all right. I keep forgetting I have my chonk armor on. Chonk a donk armor. But yeah, okay. We got it. We got to go in order first. I just can't believe how consistently this game is like. Yeah, you're exploring. Surprise! We're never gonna let you finish exploring this area because we're gonna reveal to you there's a whole new area. A whole new one. Um. I love it. Second, the show Severance is amazing. Season finale is on Friday, and they've already been renewed for and begun filming season two. I think I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. Exactly what this is. I think I'm just gonna permit myself poisoning. This is somewhere different. Okay. I still think I know where we are. Dude, yeah, Severance is... Oh my god. I, I just think Severance is one of the greatest shows I've seen in ages. So we're gonna drink this. We're gonna go to this. And then we have Flame Cleanse Me, which I believe... Poison and Scarlet Rot. man. This area is so big. I mean, I don't even know where the fuck these connections are. This is ridiculous. I mean, this is fucking insane. I don't, I don't even feel like we need a lot of those souls, though. These guys are good to farm. 
charged R2. And then one more hit should stagger. That doesn't open from the side. I think, I think I'm actually going to give that direction another shot. That's it. Wow, just the two. Oh, because he didn't see me for the first attack, of course. Oh, shit. Those geckos are famous. They've been in every Souls game. Were they in Bloodborne? What? Oh. guys seem ridiculously impossible. Like, I have to be very focused to not die here. So, let's see. Alright, here I'm falling off. So, something starts spitting out. It's Death Blight. Left arm must be super ripped. You have no idea. I'm like as ripped as they come. Taking a nap, not on my watch. Sleeping monster. Not a chance. No sleeping on the job when day nine's here. Ooh, look at the moves on this guy. Oh, Jesus. Greg Zion says, where is this? The sewer below the capital? You happen to be correct. But while we're waiting for the poison to dissipate, this is another good opportunity for us to talk about what is a spoiler and what is not. We're, we want to avoid things like, is this and then anything that's not a proper noun? We don't want any forward-looking spoilers. Because imagine for a moment that I had not yet been to the capital, or I was in the capital and I hadn't found the sewer. Ooh, that would have been bad luck. Greg Zombie says, Lameo, sorry, dude, my bad. Yeah, don't even worry about it. No, this, this is not an opportunity to try to shove your face underwater. And be like, look at what you did. Rawr! But rather, while we're waiting for the poison to dissipate, and before we begin a mad dash, and we're waiting for our health to heal, um, when it comes to asking what we've done, always do backwards looking. Hey, did day nine ever get to play, or Day-9 um, complete that area that he was at yesterday? Or 
what areas has day nine seen, right? Past looking. But if you do something forward looking, like imagine um, someone was like, hey, did day nine get to the underground map yet? <laughs> if I hadn't been there, I'd be like, what? No, no. way out. Fuck. Damn it, there's nothing down there? Fuck. Oh my god. What was the last shard bear boss you beat? That's a great question, Huthor. It is... One of the R ones. Radon. I know all the angles. He just never makes a move. Was that item at the end? Was it worth it? I, I don't even see what the item was. Did I don't finish the academy. I finished the shit out of the academy. Yeah, see, I'm not entirely sure. Where's the shield from? Dude, I don't even know. me from those souls. This is one slightly annoying aspect to that attack, which is that if you're holding attack, or excuse me, if you're holding block and you're facing this way, you kind of have like a cone of damage that you can prevent out like this. So if his swipe hits you on the back shoulder, like he slams down like this, it's the it's equivalent to if, if you're like this and someone stabs you in behind. Really annoying. Well, this is actually okay, because now there's a couple different ways that we want to explore. These guys are, uh, like, weirdly easy and so dangerous at the same time. See, like, that attack, if I was closer to him, I would have hit him back. ideas on how to explore this area now. You can so easily lose your focus for half a second, right? Jeez Louise. Here you dick. There we go. <laughs> hey Gordy. Welcome back. Hope your time between when you watched in college and now has been has been blessed. Hi. Okay. Okay. 
Jesus, just these these three guys are so hard to get past. See, I needed to back up a little there. You were done before I the nerves. You know, I killed him after, but let's be real. I three-shotted him. I was so good. I was in the zone. And also, I had basically this equipment. Before I'm a tank, Ghosty. All right, Nick, I did it. I did it on the best. I have done it. Let's go this way this time, because this was this completely different area. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I missed something down here. Because wasn't there a double plant down here? I'm pretty sure there was a double plant down here. Oh, fuck. I thought I had a shield this time. Yeah, I remember going... Not there yet. Not there yet. I remember, I remember thinking that. So actually, I'm not done with this area. I think, I think. Because the thing is that w w when I went down that path where there was all the death root basilisks or whatever they're called. I thought that I was at that double spot. And then I died a couple of times. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. So much health. the window. Oh, that's a move. Today I learned. Another 
almost hit bleed. Oh, that's a move that I learned. All right. Oh my god, there's another one right over there. Oh! Drink, drink, please. Have a sip. Dude, bestial vitality. Thank god. I gotta just block more. Stabby, stab, stab. Oh my god. Miranda powder. Where does the ladder go? <laughs> Point classic says I read them there, Miranda powder. Oh, that's so juicy and good. Oh, here is where the start area was. Oh, nice! This is the area I was looking for originally. And what I mean by this is, um, you can see... Alright, I'll tell you soon. When I was walking in... One of these illusory? Here the rats, but... Alright, so, so... Not here, but I guess it must have been over here. Sorry, it took me a second to realize that there was a finger there. That is the creepiest thing ever. Ugh. Yeah, I think right here is where the... What? It's locked? Not a... It doesn't open from this side. It's just, it's just locked? Is this the key or something? Somber smithing stone seven. That's what we needed! This is not at all where I thought that we would be. Fuck. Pretty sure it's still six that you need. No, I got I got visit shield plus six. So, where the fuck does that connect to? Huh. So there, there's a mysterious key that I need in order to get through this area. So, yeah, 
Give me, give me a quick second, everybody. So here's the thing. We, when we go down here, if we go through this way, this will eventually lead us to a ladder back up, and that ladder back up will provide us access back to the same hallway where we first entered the shunning sewers. When we get up here... I thought this would be some sort of connection back to... Just show an item for an area that we could maybe see through a wall or some shit. When we first entered into the sewer. Instead, it's locked. That's, that's, that's a mystery to me. So I actually think that the best thing to do is to just go to the... Go back here. Wow, this is this is nuts. This is a nuts dungeon. But I have good news about nuts. They can be upgraded. Native Legends tells about this shield. Love hoarding shields. I took you for no matter. It's all out your arms then. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. 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 A somber ancient dragon smithing stone is needed. Holy shit. Wait, I can upgrade this? Oh, 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 I see. I have enough. Shield does a lot of damage. Yeah, let me... Look at this. Just like 400 damage a hit. Yeah, man. It's a jellyfish cap. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, I have that shield. That shield's fucking hilarious. This is going down. It's going pretty good, Tuesday Twitch. It's going pretty, pretty good. 81 guard boost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, give me give me a quick second. How much? Golden room 12. 11, 10, 9. Actually, you know, let's, let's pop some. Going on with my character? A lot. Well, kind of big. Actually, about 12k away, so we should probably just do some farming, huh? I don't even know I can do this. I even better kill these guys. I'm the best. You know, I, I was actually... I think I was sharing a little bit about this, that I think that the big struggle for a lot of new players in this game is the idea of doing nothing. Being an important component to fighting. It's like, that's like fucking weird compared to most other games. Like in most other games, it's about, okay, you need a block, dodge, dodge, block, attack, attack, block, 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 you know. And that's actually something that's very, 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 very weird. Hey. 
Hey, you! Ah! Whoa, who's fancy? Watch this. Staggered on the first hit. Bam. And again, I'm not saying that, like, this is bad design or any such extreme statements. I'm just stating as an observation. I think this is one of the things that is very hard to get used to. Especially as you are getting to the point where you're like, Ooh, I'm getting better, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. I'm understanding how to move around, I'm understanding, I'm understanding, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. And then it's just like, oh, you actually should be doing nothing right now. You know, I popped all my runes and I didn't have enough to level up. It's actually quite funny. Souls we need to level up. I think we're close. We're like we need another, another of the. Oh my god! Stabby stab 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 stab. Serpent arrow. Ah! One thing I really like about this shield spear action is that I don't move very much. Whoops. When I swing, which makes it really nice for making sure I don't accidentally throw myself off. Contradexes would it be cool if you didn't encourage my procrastination. It is. It's on me. If your teacher has any concerns, just please direct them to this stream and encourage your teacher to like and subscribe. I think we're in Blight Town again, man. Yeah, you saw Thick Boy 9? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Probably one that's like just under here. Yeah. Yeah. Ethiopian food. Oh my god, you've said my positivity trigger word. God, Ethiopian food is so good. It's just so good. Hey, VVDJ IDK. Hey, who? I'm actually curious. Who who has been with us for most of this journey? Who's been with us for most of this journey? Because we've got a lot of new folks here, like VVDJ IDK. I've been recognizing you coming in all month long. Oh shit, you're fucking still alive? My god, is he still alive? The nod, yep, the nod. I know you're new around here. Maybe new is a little bit of the wrong word. I'm a regular participant. God, this is this is the longest gameplay through of a game that I've ever done. Josh VS, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's totally Blight Town, yeah. This is this is this is PS5 quality Blight Town. Teddy Roosevelt says, please keep going to the end. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Gemini says, I didn't watch your Elden Ring stuff until I'd beaten the game, but now I'm back to watching regularly. Gemini, you're you're here all the time. You're here all the time. I'm Oh, what's this? I'm delighted and wholly unimpressed by your regular presence.
This is a bit of an odd terrain, I think. Is it, like, fucking invisible here? Why do I keep hearing it? Stone six. <laughs> squeak pip squeak says Elden Ring is the first time I actually have stayed caught up. It's been a quality knitting time on a sweater that happens to have a circular <laughs> that a circular motif so it feels appropriate. Hell yeah. An overlook to the. Oh! Yes, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, look at he's, he's disgusting. He's covered in worms and blight. Gotta wait a second for my stamina rebuild. Geminate. I see that you're adding me, and I want to look, but there's currently deep alarm in my eyes. There's only some attacks where I can do this. Oh, fuck! What did you have to say? Shadow bait. Gemini was scrolling up. Says, Earlier I heard you say, I hate to look ridiculous. How do you reconcile that with your current armor and armaments? What? This, this is actually the closest to representing my body type that I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> Feels nice to have a thick burly boy in a game and be like, it's me. And how much how much do I have? Do I have yeah, I have enough to level up. Well, I am gonna do that. So I see that there's this swirling up area. Yes, of course, I want my endurance to go up. Okay. Oh, we got medium load, poise 72. Fuck yeah, man. Oh my god, I look awesome. Fuck yeah, this is so good. Oh my god, yes. Oh, come here. <laughs> yes, I have a cape. I am, I'm literally a fedora with a beer belly. Oh, I love it. The lady. The lady. Oh my god. Is that, is that my favorite gray cat? Hey, Despy, come here. Come on. I know, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, my little baby. I'm gonna kiss you. Oh, Mad Marty says, TV says, oh good, still in the sewers. Yeah, I don't know how you'd really complete this one terribly fast. I 
How's your puppy? She is okay, kill the queen. We had to take her on a little doggy emergency visit. And as usual, I don't know if this is what happens with you and your animals, but they concluded that she's literally fine. How many cats do I have? I have two perfect darling little baby princesses, and I'd love to talk about them anytime you want to talk about them. At all. Whoopsie doopsie daisies. My name's Sean, I hit the wrong fucking buttons. Yeah, and I just, it drives me insane the number of times I'm like, baby, are you okay, baby? Oh my God, I need a chill. Don't worry, Dad's gonna take you to the hospital. It's gonna be fine. Then you go to the hospital and, the, and it's just like, yeah, I think your dog is uh, annoyed. Here's a $500 bill. So yeah, again, if I, if I am in this state, notice that here is my stab while blocking. Now I'm gonna hold this and then I'm gonna roll and then I'm gonna hit this button. Notice that I'm not... If I'm holding the shield button and I roll and then I stab, the way that it interprets it is you are rolling and you're going to come up from rolling and do a stab. If I wanted to not do that, I needed to roll, wait, hold this up, and then stab, and then we're okay. So this, this is the problem that I keep running into is I'm misinterpreting how the game is processing my inputs and I think that I'm going to have my shield up. And then I can fucking own it. Oh, give me, give me a second. Let me get back in the water. You see, I take the headphones with me. I take the headphones with me. <sighs> hey, Mr. Grayscreen, good to see you. Dude, I'm amazed that this has been a pretty boss-free run, huh? sweetheart. really lose any souls. That's good. Dude, that was fucking rough. I, I went to adjust my volume knob so I could just hold the block button. And then right as I did that, he, he like lunged in. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Panic. Roll out of that. See, if I, if I roll out of this, I think this guy is walking the other way. Hey. Hey. Sweetheart. See, it's when he goes bang, bang, I can count on the second one. Oh, my glory. Good, Jameson. This is very new to the game. Um, 
But I can say that I've died to misclicks, like running up to a bird on a cliff, thinking I'm swinging my sword and then just rolling off the cliff and have, than I have from actual enemies. Oh yeah, that's that. That's the one. Go ahead and turn this on. I, I, I see that you're Link in the clip, but uh, I'm, I'm going to keep playing. I see you spamming clips at me. Alright, someone died. That's good. That's good stuff. Really annoying. So I think I need to approach this a little differently. Um, so there's this there's this kind of interesting thing, which is you've probably felt this when you get knocked over. That if you try to like hit block and, and attack, your character slowly gets back up. But if you tap the roll button, you'll stand up quickly. In that state, if you don't tap the roll button to stand up quickly. You'll just die. Like, they are allowed to deal damage to you. Alright. So there, there tends to be those tiny little invulnerability windows where you can move, but you're not taking damage. Nice. dudes there, you know? So much easier. There's one more guy somewhere. There he is. so funny how easy this is. <laughs> Josh. Josh, the worst part about watching this as you... The worst part about watching you stream this game, not knowing if the tinkly scarab sound is from the monitor I have you on or the monitor I'm playing the game on. I know, right? So let's see here.
So am I supposed to drop down to here, you think? That might actually be what I want to do. So I have to drop down somewhere at some point here. Alright, maybe, maybe not the intended path, but this is the path that we're going to go down for sure. Fuck. Oh, I see how my shield is locked onto it. One of these is a throw, and I don't remember which one it is. That is some bullshit right there. That is some bullshit. His little arm came in between. That is not okay. Oh, Daddy says, Sean, it's me. There you are. You turd. Miyazaki! Is this the game? One. Two. Those are some those are some thick shrimp, man, let me tell you. Oh, that guy's nasty. Now, just to make myself feel a little better, the enemies in this game, they're playing Dark Souls as well. So, you know, may as well just give it to them a little bit. Get some joy out of that. Look at how little, like, look at the tiny amount my stamina takes. Oh my god, he's so cute. Pathfinding in this game is sick. Alright, let's hit him with a tummy time.
Give me so many souls. Just two and a half? Uh, uh. Strip of white flesh. Poke me, fucking poke you right back. Let's turn this thing on. White flesh. Hey, Mog's shackle. Wait. What kind of item is that? Briefly binds Mog once imprisoned to Earth. A fetish bathed in golden magic. Nice. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. And these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. The faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power enough to trap the once bound Mog on Earth for a short time. Sick! Because this is like the, um... The shackle for Margit. Actress Rice says, can someone give me a one sentence summary of what we've done so far? We started to ex we we had explored all this, so we started to explore this area, and we got through all of this before discovering a well. Went down the well, and we've been exploring the remains of it for fucking ever. another lobster guy. Dude, this is... This area is fucking loaded. I plush says, I've played this game for 120 hours and I've never seen this place. Dude. This game is... It's sick. This game is disgustingly good. So this is probably the intended path to come down. Poet. Since you are one of the best gaming content creators and I want to show a little Cheers. Thanks for the 500 bits, poet. 3322. Dude, I am. I gotta be honest. This is. This is one of these days where I feel very lucky. The kind of community we've built over the years and the kind of content that this game itself provides of just me being continuously amazed. And I want, I want to take a brief moment to talk a little bit about wonder and amazement and what's so sick, thick, solid, and tight about what we're seeing in this game tonight. Wait, there's like a dungeon in here? Oh, this is, this is wild. This is absolutely wild. What is this side of grave? Lindell Catacombs? Jesus. Ingregious swinging in with another 10 subs again. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, goodness gracious. How many do I have? Thanks for the 10 subs again, Ingregious, after the 100 bomb the other day. Goodness. Um, I'm nearly certain I know where this goes.
Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Then I have a point to make. Then I'm going to use the restroom. Why would you why would you be so cruel with you? Okay. So I'm nearly certain this elevates back to the reconnection up above. You know what? I'm going to make this point not with two dudes staring me down. I think this is maybe, this is maybe one of the most wise things. So, okay. On the topic of wonder and amazement, you heard me talk in past streams about this idea of creating expectations, breaking expectations. And one of the simplest things that this game does is it limits your map to like th this is this is what you start on and you can zoom out this far and you look and you're like wow that's a lot of stuff it's quite big nice it's like it's like pretty cool but then the game starts to let the map grow it starts to let the map grow a little bit you start to go south start to go up and then you might do something like get to the tower of return which brings you to the divine bridge and you discover that there's an area all the way here. And you go, oh my god, it's so amazing. So, that's an example of the map creating an expectation about the size and the bounds. Oh, it's going to slowly, gradually grow, and maybe this is about the size of the map, and then you just, you're so fucking far away, it's ridiculous. One of the ways in which the Souls games in particular do a really good job of creating this like, oh my, what the fuck is the, the, um, there's a buildup to epic moments. And then sometimes there's like a little tiny door and you go through there and there's a huge area. That's what this is. This area. I went down a well, and then it felt like I could keep exploring, it felt like I could keep exploring and keep exploring, and then there was like a, a bonfire, and then there's a weird interconnected tunnel, and I'm getting deeper, and it, it's still going down, still going down, it's still going down, we're still getting deeper, and then there's this whole other weird, like, downward spiraling fucking thing where I'm like, holy shit, right? There's just like a little tiny, like, hmm, what's this well? Oh, I, I almost missed this well. I almost missed it. It's very easy to miss this well. Unless you're someone that checks every nook and cranny like me, in which case, it's a higher probability, but I'll go, oh, okay, cool, nice, neat. And so there's this quiet structure that the game is breaking. The quiet structure is this. The ceremony and the epicness leading up to big moments is proportional to how big it is. If there's a little tiny offshoot path, there's a little itty bitty reward. If there's kind of a far away offshoot, there's maybe a little bit more of a reward. And if there is an, an incredible procession of enemies and you're climbing your way up a mountain and you can see a burning torch in the distance and when you get to that, boom, you see this huge castle, that, that matches with our expectations. This is gonna be big. Here it comes. It's gonna be big. And you want some of that. You want some of this, right? Like, it's not bad to have that in this game. This ridiculous, gorgeous stairwell up to these gates that were huge, and then stepping into this, and each of these areas in this outer courtyard has an Erd tree, a little baby Erd tree planted here that leads then into this area. I mean, it's just gorgeous, right? It's gorgeous, and then right as you're trying to get to this area, you realize you can't, the doors are um, absolutely, sh like, you know, frozen shut, and you see these it says frozen shut, but like locked tight because there's this huge war zone here. And then you work your way and sneak through, and then you get the epic view. Right? There's build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. Ah, amazing. And I think that that is good to do. I know that's good to do. But what I love is that this game also just goes, there's a little throwaway well, go down there. Surprise, six hours of content. This is what happened when I was playing Hollow Knight. Just the, ah, surprise, surprise, this little tiny area, this little tiny area you thought. Guess what? There's an entire zone that's way off here that's connected to a secondary zone and there's two boss fights and there's a major plot event that happens there and it's like oh and it gives this crazy feeling that you're discovering it not that someone was going okay now do this come here come here come on i want you to see this come here i want you to see this okay see isn't that cool if that's all that there is that's okay if that's a lot of what the game is great but when you're willing to make six to ten hours of content 
this hidden in a tiny little well that some people might never see. Fucking awesome. Cheesy Bob says, which Hollow Knight area was he just talking about? That's the thing. You don't know which one I'm referring to because there's like four or five times in which that happens. <laughs> Such as the Hive. Hive's a good one. <laughs> 